I'm gonna turn these bedrooms in the back of our fixer upper and turn them into some of the quietest rooms in our house. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hey guys, my name's Connor from M Creek Renovations. And if you're new to the channel, me and my wife have spent the past two years trying to renovate our fixer upper. So right now we're on the drywall phase of the project, which is very fun and exciting. Um, something that we need to add is insulation in all the interior walls. Right now we need to go make a trip to Home Depot. So let's get started. So we made it back to HQ pretty safe. Uh, nothing blew off, which is a win. So each of these, I ended up going with 14 bags, uh, each at 60 square foot of coverage. And I calculated I needed about 13 and a half round up, so made it 14. The total was around $1,000, 1,018 to cover all the walls. Thought that was a great deal. But let's go ahead and unload them and get them inside. So this is what I got so far. It's very delicate, especially when you're pulling it away from the actual um, packaging. It already kind of broke. You can piece it together, but you just don't want to do that every time. But I mean, so far this stuff is good. As long as the framing is 16 on center or at least somewhat close to kind of hold this in, that's the best you can do. But let's go ahead and see how far this uh, one package will get us. Wall number one, down. This stuff, it says it's not itchy. I mean, it's just wool, um, so I don't have to wear a mask. I'm not really getting any dust particles in the air while I'm cutting it or anything like that. It's just super low maintenance, which is great. However, it's about 85 degrees in this house with no airflow. I don't have the AC on, um, and I am itchy. Overall, it's not that bad to use. So what I'm gonna do is all the interior walls in the house um, that are gonna be out in the kitchen and living room, kind of like the party areas where noise just travels and then in between each rooms and that's it. So moving right along, we're gonna go into the master bath. There's two large walls. This is gonna be two of the main walls that uh, go into the kitchen and the living room. So let's go ahead and tackle these two. so we had to stop we were making good headway um, pretty much got all that done and then this done as well in that other room making good headway just the only issue is I'm getting so itchy and it's so hot in here this short sleeve shirt that I'm wearing now is just not doing the trick so I'll come back tomorrow long sleeve shirt there's also some framing stuff that I got to do but I'll see you guys tomorrow and we're back. This is day two of insulating the interior walls in the rooms. Uh, I have come prepared today. I have a nice little quarter zip on. It's not too heavy. Uh, and that's perfect to kind of keep the, uh, the wool fibers off my skin. Completely misread the situation yesterday. Uh, I thought I was good until it got all hot and then I started getting itchy and I just went home later that night jumped in the shower took a nice cold shower was able to scrub a lot of the fibers off me and I, and I didn't itch anymore which is a plus but anyway enough talk I got to continue throughout this hopefully we can finish the project today but let's keep going. So the master bedroom and the master bathroom are completely done. So now we got to do the opposite side of the hallway. This thing right here is a huge lifesaver. I'm not as itchy, but it's still hot. But let's go ahead and knock out this hallway.
So we just finished the bedrooms in the back, insulating the walls. Now we're going into the living room and our dining room. There's a little stretch of a wall right about here. And once I can cover that, then we're all done. So let's get to it. and we're all finished up. That took two days. If you were to do it in one day, it'd take you probably about, it took me about five, six hours, give or take, um, to do all the walls. But let's do a quick walkthrough. This essentially is the living room area. I got covered in here. This would be going into the dining room, kitchen area, wall in the kitchen. And then down in the hallway are the bedrooms on either side. Um, I'm gonna leave a final number right up on this top right hand corner. I have about four bales, three or four bales left over that I didn't touch that I can return to Home Depot to save some extra money. But yeah, that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.